I was most innovative. I had my most potential when I was born. I've been a failure since. When I look at startups around the world, particularly in high tech, I, you know, I, I don't have to go too far. I just go to look at Tel Aviv and there it's at. And they're in all forms, all sizes, all shapes. It's, the, it's from the water, from the DNA, and from the spirit and the energy of the people that uh, create something which is just, uh, you know, I think this year we celebrate 100 years of Tel Aviv. I only can imagine what Tel Aviv will be like in another 100 years. I come here six times a year. Every time I come to Israel, I am besieged by people, in a good way, uh, who have ideas, opportunities, and just new ways of looking at things. These ideas are coming out of the woodworks. It's like, they get better. I fully encourage people to follow their dreams, find their passion, make it happen, and uh, the rest is up to the imagination. Well, I will, I will not invest in every startup, because I can't. I certainly have an open door to help as many people as possible and provide advice. And if you're willing to ask for advice and listen to it, that's great. You know, I define a friend as someone who asks, how are you, <coughs> and pauses long enough for you to answer before they ask you for something. I would apply the same methodology to looking to raise money. That if you're going to look to raise money, you know, you have to be to talk to people who are willing to listen to you before they say no. People that just don't want to suck your brain dry, but actually want to engage with you and help you in that process. Pick a sunny day, drive up to Rosh Pina, look for some friends, and have some hummus. Because it's across the hummus table that deals are born, uh, innovation is, is encouraged, and um, a good taste is left in everyone's mouth.